Hey guys, so some of you may have been in the same situation, uh, but basically I've been at some events where uh, I wanted to get a little bit higher on a tripod. Uh, I wanted to get like a, a shot over the crowd, whether it be a live event or maybe even a sporting event. So I started looking for some tripods. I didn't want to break the bank, looking for something affordable, but yet gave me the height that I needed to shoot above the crowd. So um, this is something that I came up with. This is sometimes called a laser tripod, contractor's tripod, construction tripod. It's not sold as a video or photo tripod, which is great because these start between $100 $150, a little bit more expensive depending on the quality you want. I think I got this one for under 150 bucks and it gets me uh, about 12 feet high. Now before I set this up, let's just go through some of the features that uh, this tripod has. So this is a two section tripod. Basically what that means is there's a lock here and then the leg extends out to the bottom. So there's two sections there. There's a bubble level at the top comes with a carrying strap and it also ties down when the legs are compressed. Uh, these chains here on the side prevent the legs from extending too far. Um, and then this top platform here, it has a 5 8 bolt. I'll get to that in a second. But the top can be removed completely. Also um, underneath the rubber foot, if you screw it upwards, it'll protrude a spike good for soft grounds where you need to just drive it in. In order to use this as an actual video tripod, we're gonna to have to add an adapter, which is a panning base adapter. Let me show you that. So this panning adapter goes from a 5 8 down to a quarter inch, which is still not ideal for our video tripod or photo head. Um, now this is a panning base, but there are screws on the side here that you would run down if you want to lock it from panning. Then in order to get this to work with our video tripod, we're going to go from quarter inch over to three eighths and then we'll add our video head. So here I'm just putting a Benro S4 video head and we're all set up. We've actually got this working as our video tripod now. We can mount our camera. So now to show you how tall this extends, there's a column in the middle here first, which extends. Then let me get the legs unlocked. All right, now after those have been unlocked, there's actually a gear here on the side that we can crank. Back it up. All right, so we're about our, at our max height here, and I measured this earlier. Uh, when the camera's placed above on that fluid head, we're at about 12 feet high, so Obviously, you're going to have difficulties controlling a camera, but cameras like the GH4, the new Sony RX100, even a GoPro allows you to control it via Wi-Fi and uh, lets you start, stop, and also lets you view what the camera sees. So this is a great way to get a good, tall, static shot over the crowds at an event, sporting event. Now, if you want to take it a step further, we can also add a remote pan and tilt head. All right, so over here I've got a wireless pan and tilt head. Um, so I have no cords going to this tripod. If I had this mounted 12 feet high with a GH4, I could use a Wi-Fi app to see what the camera's seeing, start and stop recording, as well as pan and tilt my camera to follow the subject. So um, yeah, this is, a, this is a great little tripod. I won't say little tripod, big tripod for under $150 because it's not sold as a video or photo tripod. So if you guys are looking for something like this to get you high above the crowds and get that bird's eye view for cheap, 
Uh, take a look at these. These again are laser tripods, construction tripods, or uh, contractor tripods. Uh, I'll have a link on the website for more information about this stuff. Check it out at cheesycam.com.